Greetings, Imperial citizens. Welcome, and thanks so much for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. Today, I'm doing a tutorial on building an Imperial Battalion. In real life, a battalion consists of about 1,000 troops, and it's uh, divided into subunits of uh, companies, platoons, and squads. Now, if you have an army of your own, obviously, you could design it any way you like. I just put a lot of effort into designing mine in a particular way because I like the military aspect of it. It's organized, It's uh, there's consistency, and plus it helps me keep track overall of how many figures I have and how many I have of any given style. Now, I'm sure you've noticed, this is not a battalion. This is just a platoon. Unfortunately, my battalion's all packed away. It's, it's 1,006 troops, and I just don't have the room to permanently display it. So when I refer to uh, certain units in a battalion that are not on this table, it's going to be uh, stock photos. Sad, I know. Apologies. With that caveated, how do you build a battalion? Step one, buy stormtroopers. No, no, no. I mean a lot of stormtroopers. Nice try. Nice. Step two, buy more stormtroopers. Once you have enough troopers to organize, start with your basic unit, a grunt. I use the VOTC Stormtrooper, VOTC standing for Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. Released in 2004, this figure was a real game changer. You should have seen me when I saw that it was coming out and when I got my first ones. Beautiful sculpt for its time. However, the major problem with this figure is that it's subject to yellowing. I would say about three quarters of the 80 VOTC Stormtroopers that I have have yellowed. Hasbro reused this body on no less than 30 different releases, and I plan to devote an entire video just to Stormtroopers. Wait, hold your nerves. What about the excellent, virtually perfect Rogue One Stormtrooper, VC-140? I only have 35 at the moment. I've got 342 VOTC-styled Stormtroopers in this army. It's going to take a while to upgrade. For my grunts I used, the VOTC Stormtrooper, of course, the Saga Sand Trooper, and the Saga Sand Trooper with its dirt cleaned off, then from the Anniversary Collection, the Removable Helmet Stormtrooper, and the Clean Sand Trooper. From the Legacy Collection, I used the Space Trooper, Luke Stormtrooper, Han Stormtrooper, and the Stormtrooper VOTC reissue. And from Joker Squad, I used Car and Trask. I personally decided not to use any of the ball-jointed stormtroopers, at least starting in 2009, simply because I think that the uh, ball joints give the stormtroopers a clunky look and an awkward stance. Now that we have our most common trooper, the infantry grunt, eight grunts make a squad led by a sergeant. For the sergeant, I use the 10 of 4 stormtrooper because his belt pouch and lack of holster sets him apart from his men. There are four squads to a platoon, which is led by a Master Sergeant and a Lieutenant. For the Master Sergeant, I use Joker Squad's Vax Pator, and I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I use Vax because of his uh, unique helmet grill and uh, white holster. I've given each Lieutenant a unique head and a Lieutenant's rank insignia. I know a bunch of you are probably asking, well, where did I get the rank insignia from? The answer, Moff Jergerod. I got a bunch on the cheap back in the day and I just uh, scraped the insignia off, cut it down to size, and glued it on the stormtrooper. Now we have a platoon of 38. There are five platoons to a company, making 190 troopers, and five companies to a battalion, bringing us to 950. My first three companies are designed the same exact way. Three infantry platoons, one special forces, and one HQ, or headquarters. Each company is led by a lieutenant and a captain. I've yet to integrate the Shadow Storm Trooper, the Death Trooper, the Scarif Trooper, the Mud Trooper and Mud Trooper Officers, and the Mimban Storm Troopers. Fourth company is Mechanized Support. Any trooper that could drive or fly a vehicle you'll find here, along with the company's own Special Forces team. Another caveat. 
I've yet to upgrade to incorporate the hover tank crew, whoever I decide drives ATDTs, and the Imperial Troop transport drivers. Again, it's going to take a while. Fifth company is Battalion HQ, security, engineering, intelligence, and so forth. Added more astromechs and protocol droids to Battalion HQ, and with the command perch that contains the executive and the highest ranking officers, we get to 1,006 pieces. 1,006 Imperial Trooper action figures organized into a battalion. As you can see, there's a ton of customs in there, and my next communique will be all about the Imperial medics. That's all for this communication. Huge thanks again to Greg Stauffer for help with the graphics, for Grace uh, for the music. If you have a question, please ask in the comments section. I'm happy to answer. And remember, do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, and await for the next transmission.